have thought that says angling is the best excuse possible for loafing in the countryside. But when £25,000 is at stake, it's fishermania. Steve Cook, Steve Ringer and Jeff Ringer have all tasted Fishermania glory. Steve Jackson and Pete Price, the bitter pill of second place. But whose name is going to be on the trophy in 2001? Tony Marshall in last year's winning, Peg One. Steve Jackson really fancies his chances in two, as does York's Dave Brettel in three. 1999 champion Steve Cook in four and an unknown Chris Telling in Peg Five. Phil Ringer's not so sure about six and the youngest competitor in the field, 18-year-old John Hall, is on seven next to top matchman Andy Mead. Nine, ten and eleven with Graham Walt, Martin Phipps and Simon Young are off the fancied island pegs but there's some bigger fish live there. In 12, 13 and 14, Andy Bell, Perry Stone and Bob Parrish will also be casting their eye at the £2,500 prize for the biggest fish while on 15 and 16, Andy Favell have got the small island to aim at, and there's a lot of fish down there. So that's how the pegs line up for Fishermania 8 at Hayfield Lakes in Doncaster. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to sunny Doncaster, the Hayfield Lake, for Fishermania 8. Proudly presented by Matrim Sport, and live and exclusive here on Sky Sports. Competitors, for £2,500 largest fish and £25,000 winner's prize. Competitors, it's all in! So we're underway, five hours ahead. Steve Cook's a man who knows what it's all about. He's on peg four this year, a winner of Fishermania in 1999. That uh, was a finalist as well back in Fisho 4. And Keith, I know a lot of experience these people have got, but even they will be feeling nerves right now, won't oh, they? Listen, I'm nervous and I'm sitting yeah. up here with not 25 <laughs> grand at stake. It's the biggest day of the angling calendar. It's the biggest winner-take-all prize. And I think that's the great thing. It's winner-take-all. Second is nothing. The biggest fish is, is a little placebo if you like it's something to go for if you can't make the big one but everybody wants to win 25 grand and that Julian is a lot of money well people have watched Fishermania over the years are very familiar with the Ringer family we have the new Ringer if you like this year Phil Ringer <laughs> making his first appearance he's on peg six wants to follow in the footsteps of course of his father Jeff last year's winner brother Steve uh, a winner before that and would love to become the third Ringer to win this He's certainly got the tactics, he's got the methods. Uh, they're very, very experienced in the Ringer family at the kind of fishing you have to do to win Fishermania. It's all about catching carp and, and associated species from commercial fisheries. It's a, it's a style all on its own and they are masters of it. Cookie is like an adopted Ringer. The four of them fish together as a team and, and, and they're hard to beat, but there's some very, very good anglers on the bank today. He's looking around quite a lot, isn't he, at the moment? I mean. Do you want to know what's going on? See, the way they fish, when they get a bite, it isn't just a little flicker, the rod goes round and the fish is on the hook. So you've got time just to relax. It, it, it looks a little bit tense and, and you know, it's when you watch Jeff Ringer last year, he cast out, the old knees were crossed, the hands went on the knees and he waited, oh, I always describe it as waiting for the bell to ring, waiting for that rod to <laughs> whiz round. Yeah. And he just sat there like he was in his pipe and slippers in front of his fire, you know. Well, Simon Young's another man with previous experience back in 1996 he made the final and he says he's a much improved angler since then he's come out on peg 11 his father was in the final a couple of years ago as well another family yeah, with pedigree that's right roger roger won the qualifier on the river with him on a match i actually attended and and 
What Simon's decided to do, he's in a peg that's got a bit of history of catching fish in the side. So what he'll do, he'll look to catch fish early, probably on the feeder, but he'll be feeding very, very close to those rushes you can see. And the big carp know. Every time you take some bait off your hook, you throw it in the edge. The carp know that, and those big ones will be waiting, usually by the left-hand side of the angler, believe it or not, and he'll be looking to catch fish down there probably after the first hour and a half. And a very, very familiar name, a familiar face, a familiar shape crouched over his rod on the banks of the lake, Steve Ringer. Fifth time in the final, a winner as well in the past, won Fishermania 5. His dad won it last year, his brother's in it this year as well. And he's got to be one of the favourites. Yeah, there's no one with more Fishermania experience, obviously, than Steve Ringer. And he's still a young bloke. I mean, what lies ahead of him? He's got an enormous future. He really fancies Peg 16. He, uh, he, he said to me the other day that, that there was a lot of big fish down there, and already we've got someone into a fish. Steve oh, and Jackson. it's off again. Well, now, now Jacko's a very confident bloke, and that won't dent his confidence. He'll just say, well, there's one out there, and it's still out there, and it's still hungry. You can see the water there, Keith. There's quite yeah. a ripple on the top from yeah. the wind. The, the fish will blow into that island on the wind. This is what happened if, if you remember when Steve Ringer won it, he was casting into that island and the wind blew into the island and the fish will go on the wind. Tony Marshall is on peg one, which, well, that brought his odds cascading down from nine to one to two to one after he came out on that peg. Book his favourite peg. Book his worst enemy peg. It's the, one that, it's the one that everybody expects to win. It looks like Tony Marshall might have a little fish on there. It's certainly not a big fish the way he's playing it. Uh, and there are a lot of little fish there. He's got to hope the big ones come in and bully them out. And the trick is on that island, the closer you can cast to the island, and I can tell you it's an 82-yard chuck where he is, if he can hit the grass stalks almost, that's where he'll catch the big fish. If he drops short, he'll be plagued with little ones. And I don't think you can catch enough little ones casting 80 yards to win. He'll know all that, won't he? He'll have thought all that through. He certainly will. He'll know everything about the peg. He'll know everything about the lake. And it, it could be a decent fish that's swimming with him. They do sometimes, because it's putting up a bit of a complaint now it's got close to the rod end. I mean, these chaps would have been up here. They'll, they'll have been practising this week, quite a few of them, yeah. trying to get to know all the little byways and alleyways of the lake. The, the trouble is, Julian, you can't practise a match unless you're in match conditions, because you suffer what I've described for years as the 10 o'clock splash. Mm -hmm. When you come up and fish on your own, everybody starts feeding at different times, the disturbance all happens at different times. On a match, when the whistle goes, the lake just explodes with noise. Bait goes in from everywhere, tackle goes in from everywhere, and the fish just wonder what's happening. You can't ever transmit the same um, energy into pleasure fishing or practising as you can into a match. There we go, the first one landed by Tony Marshall on peg one, the favoured peg. Keith, he's off to a brilliant start. It's a decent fish, there's the best part of a kilo there. <laughs> well, I'd be absolutely delighted to get that. I mean, that will settle any nerves a little bit. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, no. no, that just kicks him off. <laughs> Until you catch the first one, you think, well, it might happen. When it starts to happen, he's in the lead. Dave Brettle on peg three. He's got a, got a bit of action on here. Although the pegs have moved in Fisho over the years, I'm convinced that that's the peg that Steve Ringer won off. I'm convinced that Dave, Ringer, uh, Dave Brettle's in the Ringer peg. Cost me a lot of money, you know, a couple of years ago, Dave Brettle. <laughs> we were fishing a mixed pairs competition and Dave was fishing with Linda Brinders, a tackle dealer in York, and I was fishing with Rita Bell, who's another tackle dealer in York. We tied on points and Dave Brettle had a seven pound carp that beat us for the money. And you've never forgiven him. <laughs> nah, he's a smashing bloke. He is, he's a lovely bloke. Good luck to him. It's all happening, isn't it? The low numbers, Keith. Already. Already. But well, we expect that. that. The fish are instantly on the island. At the other end of the lake, the bigger fish will start to feed later. That's a good fish. Still coming. There we go. Safely in. And he's off and running as well. Phil, who's 
23 years old, describes himself as a dreamer. Well, he's living the dream at the moment. He's angling for the biggest prize in fishing, £25,000. So, another one is landed. And good early fish being caught here. Good pace being set, Keith. Well, when you think it was a bit dicey here during the week, that the oxygen levels had dropped, the water temperature had gone through the roof, we've had a decent breeze, a drop of rain yesterday, the water levels, the water levels risen, the oxygen content's gone up, the fish are really active, and uh, having a chill, I think, is a description we normally use. <laughs> You can just hear the hooter then for the first weigh-in. That means we've been going half an hour and we will find out who is the early leader on the leaderboard when they've had the first weigh-in. Well, here we go. We're ready for the confirmation of that first half hour's catch for Steve Ringer on peg 16. The last peg on the lake. Productive. Can you bring it down the course of the day? Lively <laughs> fish in there at the moment, and some good-sized fish, as you can see as well. Which is causing the chaps down here just a little bit of a problem, and that's a big fish. And he's not too keen on switching bags by the uh, by the look of it. And there, there's the one that got away. All under control. Just about ready. Oh, there's more in there now. That's a good catch. Let's see how good. Over to the scales. It's all revolutions on it. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, what have we got then, guys? Wait for it to settle. Seven kilos, 970. So after just 30 minutes of fishing, Steve Ringer has staked his claim. Nearly eight kilos of fish have gone onto the scales. Dave Brettel and Steve Jackson in their fancy pegs three and two are doing their bit and another Ringer's in the frame in four. Philip, but he's a long way behind his bigger brother. Well, this is back at Hayfield Lakes and there are plenty of fish going to the scales. This is Steve Jackson in peg two. Let's see what his bankside reporter Liz Hobbs has got to tell us. We're on, we're on peg two at the moment. Steve Jackson's peg, look at this coming out. That is a beautiful, beautiful crop. What a, what a beautiful fish. We're gonna actually weigh that one indi individually that's because it. there is of course yeah. the prize for the biggest catch of the day and that's looking like it might be in the running for it. So uh, let's just have a look. This is. Steve Jackson's way in. That fish has almost done it all on its own. <laughs> Over three, three kilos. One fifty. Three kilos, one fifty. That's three kilos, one fifty. Three kilos, one fifty. And we'll do the individual fish now. So if we take the other. That's correct. Take the other fish out. It's a really big fish. So if we can take this the one fish out. So that's giving Steve Jackson a total weight now of five kilos, seven ninety. But this is the individual fish that might just take the two and a half thousand, which would be lovely. Two seven thirty, and that's two kilos seven hundred and thirty. So if uh, be interesting to find out if anybody else has weighed in officially individually, but that one for Steve Jackson was two kilos seven thirty, and his total weight now is five seven ninety. Here, Dave Brattle's bag showing in. This is Dave Brattle, peg three, of course, is in second position currently with uh, three kilos, five ten after the first weigh in. This is the second, it's not looking like it's going to. Uh, two it's kilos, one ninety. But that's two kilos, one ninety. Two kilos, one ninety, which three, gives him a total of kilos, five kilos, seven hundred at the moment, which is not enough. So Steve Jackson's just nudged in front there by 90, 90 grand. So it's, it's getting a, a real battle here between pegs two and three, which is great to see. But uh, I'm not quite so sure that Jacko's going to be as happy with that. He needs another big one there. Uh, so just 90 grand separating pegs two. 
After an hour of fishing in the second lane, you'd expect someone to stake a claim. And there he is, Steve Ringer, top of the leaderboard, nearly double the weight of second place Steve Jackson. Below that, we've got a fishing match. There's a lot of people in contention and a lot more fishing still to be done. There's the man himself, Steve Ringer, in action. That's not a big fish, but as long as he can keep dropping them into his net, he's going to increase his weight. He's fishing the method feeder. Not normally used at Hayfield on, on normal fishing, but for Fishermania, any method counts. And there's Cookie. That's a considerably larger fish. And he needs a few of those. This is the moment, yeah. It's a long way out still. When he comes up with the tail thrashing. You see, if no fish wants to be pulled backwards, it will always resist being pulled backwards because it forces through its gills the wrong way. And the anglers are aware of that. And you, we're always very, very um, sympathetic to the fish when they're, when they're badly hooked. And you, you ease off, you don't give them maximum pressure because you know that it, it, they don't like it. It's, that, it it's, it's contrary to their nature. Seeing those, right? yeah, yeah, he's certainly taking exactly. his time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Steve must have yeah. 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 That's what we are, yeah. We, we, it's know. true, though. Like, you know, you it's a real contrast of what he's got to do here with what Steve Ringer was doing earlier when he's just reeling them in, putting them in the net, and out he goes again. Booked in the mouth, oh, Julian, yeah, it's a piece of cake. You can yeah. lead them, they will swim that way. That's swimming, it's swimming away from him all the time because he's pulling it the wrong way. All you can do is put the net in the water and hope that the fish dives into it, which it sometimes will, but he's got to get it very, very close. You overcompensate, yeah. you've got to get it really under the bank, then put the net past it so it will just dive in. You, when you're playing them like this, you, you've got to, you've almost got the rod right behind you, so actually pull into a top of water. Mm. That's the, I find that's the easiest yeah, way. You want a lot of line between you, you and the fish. You can't have rod up, no. you just can't get the no. fish in. Uh, as you can see, the feeder comes out of the water, it's thrashing about with the tail. And that and is the moment when, dangerous. like that now, yeah. that's the moment now when it usually pulls out. But that one looks firmly hooked. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Right in the wrist of the tail. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't look it's that size, big, isn't it? Isn't it? Good fish. Now yeah, you've got to get that net said, much keep, lower yeah. than that. He's got it. That's it, that's in the onion bag. It's not that big a fish, no. but he'd rather have it in his net than not. Definitely. Here's Steve Rega, the leader. Still going well, obviously. Still setting his pace. Was that his dad, Jeff, behind him? I just saw that. Leaning back, there he is. Last year's winner. Very, very experienced uh, man in Fisherman. He's done his stint on the celebrities. Uh, Match. We'll find out his progress a little bit later on. And he's obviously got his two boys to keep an eye on this afternoon. And Cookie. And his pal as well. The adopted ringer, yeah. <laughs> yes, his great pal. He's been on the bank before for him, hasn't he? Like the three musketeers and D'Artagnan, they are. <laughs> <laughs> There's Steve Ringer's latest bag being carefully placed in the scales. Ultra soft mesh on those way bags. Drop them on. Over two kilos. Ringer's marching on, there's no doubt about that. Two kilos. That won't stay still, will it? They never will. Three fifty. So there he is. He's not running away with it now quite so much. Dave Freckle in peg three has had a brilliant third half hour and closed the gap appreciably. And there are still four anglers that have yet to catch a fish in Fishermania 8, but they'll be trying. Dave Jackson in third spot at the moment. He's just knocked down one by Dave Brettler that last way in. You know, we're, we're talking about Steve Ringer being way in front. Jacko's lost a few fish. If Jack, those fish had stuck on, oh, Jacko yeah. had been, been very, very close. Yeah. Cookie's lost, he, he's admitted to himself, three yeah. two-kilo fish. 
for now. It's another six kilo. It, it's it's way way too early I, to call I, it. Ah, well, definitely. I bet Steve Ringer it lost money though. No, that's right. <laughs> no, he won't have lost money. I think you'll find the likes of. Um, Look at that thing. Yeah, I think Jacko's peg will get stronger. Yeah, yeah it will definitely. I mean, I've only, I've only just really had a glance at the water, but the very nature of the way the wind's blowing into that corner, I think I think the fish, I think Jacko's peg could get stronger. This is a lovely that. looking fish. This. fish this. this is the biggest fish, I think. You've seen the colour of that, Tom. It's one of those beautiful big orange ones. That's one of the good things about this venue. You never know what colour no. the next fish is going to be. We get white ones, yellow ones, red ones, brown ones, normal ones. And mostly they're rejects, aren't they? The ones that fish farmers don't really want. I can guarantee one thing now that Jacko won't be concerned one eye over about the colour. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, the if you, of the money, he's not interested yeah. at all if he's a pretty yeah. golden one. Like that. If it what was a magnificent yeah. fish. I tell you now that Steve would prefer one an ounce bigger if it was an orange yeah. brown one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll settle for that one, though. What a cracking fish. Yeah. Well done, Steve. That has pulled him a long way back, right? Fish like that, you know, Tom, I've been fishing for a long time and so are you. And fish like that still make the air stand up on the back of my neck. The door, I'm not been fishing as long as you, mate. <laughs> You've got no air to stand up, no, are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good one, that way. And he's on one of those metal pegs that uh, they don't tend to like very much. Oh, this is Andy Bell landing one. No, I'm not liking it. And Bell on peg 12 in ninth. That's a... We said there were some big fish in that part of the lake, didn't we? Yeah, we knew right. there were some big fish. That's a big fish. It'd be interesting to see if he's fishing for a big fish. Yeah. Right? It's on pole. It looks like it might be on floating pole, Tom. Mm. And that's where they want to be. Those big fish want to be in the top two feet of water, don't they? Yeah. And ah. there goes the hooter for the latest weigh-in which will mark the two-hour mark. Two hours into this <laughs> five hours fishermania. But news filtering through from out on peg 16 and our leader, very little, I said little, in Steve Ringer's net in the last mm. half hour. Just one small one, we think. And we saw what Steve Jackson was doing on peg two when he landed that beauty. The gap looks like it's going to close. Let's find out with Liz Hobbs. It certainly does down here because this is a huge fish for Steve Jackson. You want to hear the atmosphere down on peg two. All his family and friends are getting behind him and you can see the aggression, just the, just the competitive instinct. Look at the size of that. Let's weigh that one first, shall we, on its own? And let's have a look because that might just um, go, take the biggest fish at the moment. So let's... Here we go. It's going over the three kilo mark. It's almost three up at three and a half. Three thirty. And it looks like three, three kilos, kilos. Three thirty. Three kilos, three thirty for the biggest fish competition. I'm not sure whether that just goes in front. So what we're going to do is drop that into the net before we add the others because it's it is such a big fish. And then we're going to have. Yeah, then we're going to pull out the other fishes in here. Three kilos, 330 grams. Okay, let's put the rest in here. So we've got so far three kilos, 330 grams on Steve Jackson's scale. And now we're going to let's hold this open for you to get the rest. Is there another one in there? I think there probably is. Just a baby, but they all count. There we go. Oh, lovely little thing. Yeah. OK, let's get the rest on the scales then. Remember, we've already got three, 330, and this needs to be added to it. So another one, one kilo... 770. Another one kilo, 770, which takes Steve Jackson's total up to 12 kilos, 590. 12 kilos, 590 then for peg two and Steve Jackson. So he's certainly pulling back and he's certainly going for it here on peg two. And I think that down at this end of the lake, things seem to be waking up a little bit. You can see that for yourself because Ringer's being clawed back. Dave Fretton and Steve Jackson are both catching him up. And Phil Ringer's not too far behind, turning into a tussle. Perry Stone's jumped in front in the large fish state. He's got the biggest so far.
they've been going two hours and 35 minutes of a five hour Fishermania 8 final. £25,000 will be somebody's in around about two and a half hours from now. Will it be Steve Jackson, who was beaten by only 790 grams by Steve Cook two years ago in the Fishermania final? His ambition is to win Fishermania. It is that simple. Uh, well, he could be about to fulfil that, but there is a long way to go. And things are changing all the time. Crowds on the banks behind. Well, he's a very popular angler, isn't he? He is, but while he's playing that fish, we're all looking at him. Dave Brattle's netted a fish next to him, and it's it's gone almost unnoticed. And 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 Brattle's yeah. catching fish. Never worry about that. Steve Jackson's getting the big pretty ones. Dave Brattle is catching fish after fish after fish. It'll be very interested to see his weight. Dave Brattle sitting next to him on peg three, was in second spot, but uh, almost certain to drop down again, but we will confirm that when we've got the full details of the way in. Got history of winning a lot of money in the last 30 seconds, hasn't he, Alan? Do you remember the mixed pairs? Mm. <laughs> oh, That's the two pounds. of them there. <laughs> Steve Jackson on the left-hand side, Dave Brattle on the right on peg three. So they're a matter of, my goodness, I don't know, was that 15, 15, yeah. 15 yards, yeah, isn't it? 15, yeah. yeah, not very far apart at all. And as you said last night, Keith, after the draw, you said, we've got a match on. Oh, yeah. Rubbing yeah. your hands with glee. And, and, and I'll tell you something else about the difference between the two of them. Dave Brettles having to cast 30 yards to catch his fish. Steve Jackson's having to cast 75 yards to catch his fish. Mm. It's obvious who's going to get them in quicker when they hook them. Mm, sure. Well, he might have longer to land them. Steve Jackson's got the most. He's overtaken Steve Ringer at the top of the leaderboard with 18 kilos, 45 grams. Dave Brecken's still there. Phil Ringer's making his way up there too. And Steve Cook. There's five great anchors, all battling out for the first prize. Let's take a look at the new leader. Steve Jackson is the man out in front at the moment. Let's see what we have for Steve Ringer here on peg 16. One kilo, 100. One kilo, 100 is the weigh-in for Steve Ringer on peg 16. There are some real quality fish in Hayfield Lake and there's one of them. That's a magnificent sample for Dave Brettle. Look at the size of that thing. Just hooked on the outside of the mouth, they grub around the feeder. They sometimes pick up the hook just on the outside of their lip. His name might be slipping, but his catches aren't. Did they not like that? That cheer can only mean one thing. Steve Jackson's back in the action. Wacko Jacko's got another cracking cut. Bit of technical problem there with the reel, but that'll be forgotten about when he puts that creature in the keep net. Right, let's have a look what he's got there. Oh, look at that! That is a beauty. Is it separate or not? You, yeah, think, that's worth a, a, you think that's worth a look? Do you? Do you reckon that's near the, oh, near the three? Not the four. I think. Let's have a look. No, near a three. No, not quite the three kilo mark for that big fish. We thought we might have uh, been in with a the shout then, but unfortunately not. So Dave Brettles weigh in then. We're looking for a total weight. Oh, here we go, we're going over the five kilos. He's already on 15 kilos, so we're looking to get him over the 20 kilos, and we're nearly there. We're not quite, I don't think, but we're nearly there. Oh, yes, we are, hang on. Yep, we are, we're, we're over five, aren't we? Five kilos, 170. <laughs> That's a good bag of fish to go on to an already impressive total, but there's two and a half thousand pounds for the biggest individual fish caught on Fishermania, and those anglers that don't think they've got a chance of winning have got a chance of that. And here's a cracker from Simon Young. That's pushing five kilos. Seven hundred. Yes, yes, four kilos. Seven hundred. Oh, 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 oh. 
Four kilos, 720 grams. That's over so 10 pounds. Four kilos, 720. There he is, uh, still out in front, Steve Jackson. I'll tell you what, he took a lot of weight out of Steve Rigger there. He's gained four kilos in that last half hour just on Steve Rigger. He's in again as well. Just looked another fish. I think the problem is for Steve Rigger, which is all the fish have gone for him. That's the, if you'll get an indication, it's a problem. But I don't think he'll get an indication which tell that fish have gone. I'll tell you one thing I'm a bit concerned about with Steve. He looks like he's just we'll losing his concentration a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit worried. Steve Jackson is playing a touch to the gallery rather than concentrating on what he's doing. He's ever such a lovely bloke, he really is. But he might just be giving it a bit too much. He hasn't lost that. No, still got it. Oh, he's still got it on, has he? Yeah, scrum to Arjun. Still got it. And, uh, I just see him cast and he, yeah, he's, he's, his feeder landed within about probably four inches of yeah. that island now that is brilliant it's quite good wasn't it that's quite good though. you know bob to win matches it's what goes on in front of you that matters yeah, yeah. what goes on behind you shouldn't be in your mind and you should never look around and, and laugh and, and you know it's 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 great to do but he's doing a job today he's there for 25 grand and it's he's four inches from the bank bob and it's casting what it's over 80 yards 75 80 yeah, yards yeah. i think i couldn't believe when i say how close it's, it's a long got, chunk he's probably got his line yeah, yeah. yeah. so it but it, but it was still brilliant. Well into the second half now of Fishermania 8, and Jackson and Bradford are leaving the ringers behind. Pegs 2 and Pegs 3, side by side, they're drawing fish 70 yards from the island into their keep net with alarming regularity. But it's far from a two-horse race. Anyone on that leaderboard is in with a shout. What about Steve Cook? He said he uh, shouldn't be written out of it yet. Winner a couple of years ago when he just edged out Steve Jackson. And Keith, he's been getting busy just recently. He caught a decent fish just now, a, 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 probably a two kilo fish, cast out and as soon as he, his feeder hit the bottom, the tip went round and he had another fish. And, and like he's, he's probably put three kilos in the net very, very quickly. He does that once more, a three kilo trick again, and. You know. he, he's got the island to work with, yeah. and he's casting all the way as well. Well, he's, he's the other side of the point, and he's got a much shorter chuck, and there, how long's that been in the water? Right Less than a minute, he's yeah. on again. I'm telling you, don't write this bloke off. This bloke wins big matches. He's a big occasion angler, this bloke. Tommy warned us about him early on. We said that to Ryder, but he didn't like his peg last night, and I actually tipped someone, I won't say who, but his name rhymes with Boardman. I tipped him to have a bet on Steve Cook, even on peg four and he took my advice, and he'll probably clobber me afterwards, but he'll get a good run for his money, I'll tell you. If you remember what he said when you interviewed him earlier, he said he was getting a lot of indications yeah. and a lot of bites, and I know that that part of the island, in the week, that's where all the fish have been. And I just, I just know what sort of anglers I would never bet against him in a big, no. in a big match. No. And he's as cool as a cucumber. He'll not worry about it, he'll just keep catching. He'll not want to see them, though. One or two no, drops of rain there. starting to... Uh, Puck of the lake. The wind's dropped as well, that's the most significant thing. And there's a man whose heart's dropped, Steve Ringer. After 90 minutes, he was romping Fishermania 8. But it's gone a bit pear shaped at the moment. He's still catching fish, but they're not big enough, and there's not enough of them. His brother Phil is climbing the leaderboard. He's going in the other direction, but he's still in fourth place. The proverbial mountain to climb looming in front of him. That's a spray just to help his line sink in the calm conditions. And there's the two blokes that are keeping the ringers off the top of the board. Steve Jackson and Dave Brettel side by side on your screen as they are side by side on the bank, both concentrating in their own way. Well, this is the leader as you've just said, and he's got a pretty impressive net yet again at this weigh-in. The cheers are going up. He's already on 24 kilos, 60. The last weigh-in was 5 kilos, 6.10, and then before that, 5, 8, 60, and 5.10 before that, so it's all 5, 100, shall I say. So he's got a pretty hard act to follow. So is that everything out of the net? Let's just check it, make sure it's empty by the steward. No, I thought we might have missed one in there. 
this. Missed any more. Okay, on the scales it goes. Yep. And the, the guy who's weighing it in is Andre Brangin, who actually fished fishing mania yourself, didn't you, Andre? Did, three years ago. That's correct. Take number three, too. Yeah. It wasn't quite so lucky no, for you, it was though. No big fish in it last time. Right, let's have a look. Three kilos, five forty. So we'll move straight on now down to Dave Brettle and let's have a look and see just whether he's managed to close that gap. The gap was almost four kilos at the last weigh-in. And he's got some great support down here as well for Dave. And he's been one of the most consistent fishermen I think I've watched all day. Really busy all the time and he's not stopped fishing the same method. He's not stopped fishing the same spot. He's just got the confidence that he thinks that if he keeps exactly where he is, it's going to pay off in the long run. So let's see whether it's starting to it this way. And his, his, his bag is not looking quite as full, I have to say, as, as uh, Jacko's. But no, it certainly isn't. It's a lot lighter. And let's have a look, Andre. They're doing really well, these guys, aren't they? They are. They're having a fabulous day fishing. No racking one for you as well. Look at these scales are getting it right. OK, what have we got here? So this is the way in then for Dave Brettle, just under the 2k mark by the looks of it. One kilo, eight, forty. So the only significant change at the top of the leaderboard is the ringers have changed place. His younger brother Phil has clambered above elder brother Steve into third spot. But Steve Jackson and Dave Brettle pulling even further away in first and second place. I think they're the only four that have got a real chance. and back to the leaderboard. After eight weigh-ins, just one hour left in Fishermania, and Steve Jackson's roaring away. But he's got his game complete from Dave Beckel and Phil Ringer, and Steve Ringer's still there. He keeps putting those fish in his net. It's going to be a hell of a last hour. The rain might be falling. Dave Brettle's catch rate's rising. Proud Yorkshireman, lives in York. He won a mixed pairs event a couple of years ago with uh, York tackle dealer, Linda Brind. I wasn't very pleased about it because I was second fishing with another York tackle dealer, Rita Bell, and they pipped us on weight after two days of fishing just down the road at Retford. But to show his determination, they beat us by just under seven pounds and Dave Brett had a seven pound carp in the last minute of the match. And if he wins today, I'm gonna to ask for some of my 3,000 pounds back because I feel like he stole it off me. <laughs> That's a great fish. And he looks in control, it's gotta be said. There's only one decent fish between him and Steve Jackson. That's probably not quite big enough on its own to close the gap. But another one like it, and it's really game on. Well, they are so close. They are literally one good fish apart. Jackson's got the edge at the moment. Dave Brettle, though, is not far behind. He's less than four kilos behind. There's three quarters of an hour left in this five-hour fishing match. Fishermania, eight. £25,000 to the winner. No one else gets anything apart from if you have the biggest fish of the day, which Simon Young at the moment holds, that, four kilos, 720 grams. Uh, he's out in front with that, but even that could change at the moment. Steve Jackson attracting plenty of attention from he's the photographers. Fish. Big fish as well. I think we might just be seeing it now, Tom. I yeah. think that this last couple of fish, Dave Brett had a little bit of a comeback there, and he, he gained on it on a, on a weigh-in, and then he got a couple of decent fish, and it put Steve under pressure, but these last two fish... This is a beautiful fish. I don't think he settled down now. I mean, he must have been very, very nervous, and that's why he was playing to the crowd. Oh, there's the hooter. That means we've just got half an hour to go. The hooter for the ninth weigh-in out of ten. And I think he'll be keen to get this one in his net before it's weighed in. Uh, it could be important psychologically 
โซเฮมรอยนี่ชิสวันได้สินะ He certainly does. As I say, I think he, he was playing to the crowd. I think he was very, very nervous. But now, all of a sudden, he's making his last. Oh, look at that lovely dive spot. He settled down and uh, he realised he's got to put his act together. Every fish is going to be vital. And the wind's gone back. Yeah. Mm. The wind's gone back, blowing into that corner of the island. The storm's gone. The fish are blowing back in there. Okay, Andre's coming over. Our official weigher. Official adjudicator from the National Federation of Anglers. Very important that they're here to make sure things are all done in a legal fashion for this competition. Okay, come on, this is getting so exciting you can't even close the net there, Andrew, can you? It's uh, right, getting tense. Not such a healthy way in this one, but it's still good. Three kilos, 820 grams. Three kilos, 820, which gives Dave Brettel, let's add this up quickly, 30 kilos, 490, so he's moved into the 30s, but uh, still not enough to catch Steve Jackson. In fact, Steve Jackson has has extended his league uh, now, and he's on 36, 9, 10, so we're, we're, we're six and a half kilos in the lead now for Steve Jackson. But I wonder whether that's it. I wonder whether it's a fait accompli. They say it's not over yet, and I'm sure it's not till that final klaxon sounds. This is the penultimate leaderboard, and it's looking likely that Dave Brettel won't let him escape, and nor will Phil Ringer. Phil Ringer's had a couple of magnificent fish just in the last 10 minutes, and he managed to get them on the scales in time. Jackson will be feeling the pressure. It may be an eight kilo gap, but that's just two good fish. Fantastic climax to Fishermania Ace. I mean, it's a brilliant fishing match, but when you consider that there's 25,000 pounds at stake, one of these guys will win 25 grand in about 15 minutes from now. The others will get nothing. It is winner takes all. And there is a prize for the biggest fish as well. Who knows, if this is a, a huge one, then Phil might be on for that. If it's a huge one, then he's back into contention. It's not foul, is it? I think it might be. That will be a shame. That's probably what... No, it's not as big, is it? Oh, it's no, in. It's in. Yeah. How big is that, Casey? That's two kilo on. Two and a half. Two and a half kilos. So he's got another one, two. That's four kilo. That's, yeah, that's, that's four kilo behind. Four kilos behind. Now, Steve's wound in. Last two casts without Three a fish. Three casts without a fish. Without a fish. Well, Phil thinks he can win it, doesn't he? He look, certainly he's, does. He's, he's absolutely trying to get in. going for he's it. He's jet propelled. He's absolutely flying. Could well be the lucky break it that takes well him through to the big prize. Steve Ringer chucked into three at the time and you all come. Phil, yeah, Phil, Phil Ringer. Phil, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Steve chucked in, he come out and got a fish. Come out with a fish, yeah. They must have started nesting early. Yeah, they must have done, yeah. <laughs> But, but again, did you notice how close to the bank it was? I mean, really, this is where he's starting to score now. I mean, it... and it's fallen off the hook and he's landing now. <laughs> <laughs> Saves him, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? For nearly five hours, they've sat shoulder to shoulder and slugged it out like championship boxers. Twenty-five thousand pounds at stake. There's still a gap, and that gap's been there all day. Brettel's closing it as we watch. Look at his face. That is one determined Yorkshireman. And Phil Ringer. Well, I think the game is just about up now. Very, very little time left. But a terrific charge from Phil. He was down sort of in sixth. For, I don't know, until about halfway. Then he started to overtake his brother got above Steve and into the top three and then in the last out gave himself a dramatic late chance of snatching it but unless something happens in these last few seconds we are almost certain that Steve Jackson is about to be crowned Fishermania champion. Hooter of Fishermania 8. The crowd giving it a tremendous reception, and we believe that Steve Jackson is the champion. But only the scales know the truth.
This is Phil Ringer's final catch in Fishermania 8. There's one decent carp. There's another decent carp. I don't think it's enough. Let's see what happens when they go on the scales. Six, six, six. Four kilos and sixty. Yeah. Four kilos and sixty. So we'll have to find out if that's going to be enough for second place. Fishermania just is one very special event for everyone, isn't it? Yes. Let's have a look. Come on, let's go around this side of the scale. This is. Okay, where, where, where are we now? We've got <laughs> <laughs> thirty-two six fifty to beat for you. Oh God! This is shabby. One kilo. And 40, did you say? Yes. One kilo and 40. Oh, and it's 31,530. He just great. pipped you into second position by the looks of it, didn't he? Yeah, there's quite a few fish in between. There, it's been though. such a great day, though, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's for been you. Great. you really, Man. and you've been such a great sport. Well yeah. done. Lee Jackson, 700 grams. Let's have a look. What's the final total then? 37 kilos, 610. You're the officially. <laughs> Fishermania 8 champion. <laughs> you clever boy, coming in. Oh dear, that's what you that's what you might call a jubilant crowd. And it's a fact that every picture tells a story. In first place, a magnificent weight of 37.6 kilos, over 80 pounds for Steve Jackson. Phil Ringer clawed his way into second, pushing Dave Brettel into third. Simon Young kept his big carp crown. And it's lovely to see everybody on the board, even if it was a bit of a struggle for some of them at the end of the leaderboard there. Just 1.8 kilos for a very confident Martin Phipps. So, ladies and gentlemen, to receive his trophy check for £2,500 with a catch of 4 kilos, 720 grams, please welcome Simon Young. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Fishermania 8. With a catch of 37 kilos, 630 grams, to receive the Fishermania 8 trophy, the check for 25,000 pounds, and a magnum of champagne, and most important of all, the title of Fishermania 8 champion. Please welcome Wacko Jacko Steve. <laughs>